My name is Marion Harris. I'm 6'6", 330. And being able to play for my home state. I'm looking for like a team that can uh, make me feel like I'm at home and it's home. So uh, Pittman, he's pretty cool. I mean, we didn't had like conversations. So like, I mean, he's a cool guy. All the linemen they produce and like he made me feel like I was one of their top athletes that they was looking for and made me feel like I'm a be at home basically. Man, there's some good guys up there and great guys that's going. I mean, I feel like if we all get together, we could uh, make Arkansas better. I get to a lot. put on for the state of Arkansas and show them that we're just not an average team. My mindset is uh, to get another ring, it all starts with like hard work really. So I just got to go in and you know, work hard and prove to the coaches that I am what I am. Amarion is the son of former Arkansas defensive end, Elliot Harris. People always been asking me, was I going to Arkansas because of my dad? I mean, it was a big factor. It's always been in my blood to be a Razorback. Middle screen and it was, it's intercepted. He looked up and said, thanks for the early Christmas present. At long last, things are finally looking up for Razorbacks football. And one more addition that can make that positive trajectory go skyward is a kid whose potential is sky high. Meet Amarion Harris. He's committing on Mother's Day, and he's been a phenom here at Robinson for many years. This is a long time coming. His first visit he went on, he was 10 years old. It like really just started like when I was in the fifth grade, really. Like I took a trip to Arkansas with my brother, and like they like weighed me and got my height at like 6'2". Measured him and he was six foot 255 as a 10 year old. You know, the big thing that he's done is he's done his due diligence. He's done his homework. And so he's not making this decision because he feels like it's all he knows. It's because he truly believes that this is the best place for him and the best thing for his future. He's going there with conviction because he knows what else is out there and he chose Arkansas because he believes it's the best place for him. First day I met him was I was his elementary PE teacher and it's pretty depressing to be shorter than one of my students as an elementary teacher. And landed an offer from the Hogs as just a freshman. His workload in high school thereafter shows for all the offers to his name. The big thing is, I mean, this is a kid who was starting against 7A teams as a 13 year old on a state championship team that was making all the checks on the line. A guy who can play all five O-line positions, all four D-line positions. A guy who can play all five O-line positions, all four D-line positions. Like my experience that I uh, played 60 games in the high school and I was 13 playing in a state championship game. I always tell myself, people bleed the same way I bleed. So even if I do have somebody bigger, stronger than me, Awesome kid. Uh, you can't add enough of Marion Harris is into your program. Hard worker, dependable, accountable. Um, obviously the measurables and the age jump out at everybody. Um, but as far as the intangibles he brings, the accountability, you don't have to worry about him. My brain on, on the field, that's good. He's never had a disciplinary action. I mean, he's just a phenomenal kid who you know, is playing both sides of the ball for us, down in and down out. You know, he wants to be out there. He wants to be on extra point and field goal. He wants to be on the field as much as possible. And sometimes when uh, you're as celebrated as he is and when you're as accomplished as he is, kids tend to take plays off or take things for granted. And he's really a kid that, you know, he's never gonna shortchange you. And you can't ask for more than that as a coach. I mean, I've been here since like the second grade at Robinson. I mean, I had different coaches help me out throughout my uh, process. Great experience, really. Uh, I had multiple people around me that was D1 players. We'll go on trips and stuff with them, and then like the coaches will recognize me also. Uh, seeing older guys on the field, like teaching me as, as young, well, I learned from them and learned more. And actually, the funny thing is, one day it was a free dress day at the middle school, and his older brother, Elliot, wore his dad's Cotton Bowl jersey to school, and it fit him well. And you're like, a middle school kid is not supposed to be filling out an SEC jersey. And so that was kind of like, oh, 
you know, these kids come from a very talented lineage and, and uh, you know, it's very quick to see just how blessed and, and how great that family is as a whole and, and how special Marion is. But he's a great athlete. He's a cerebral mind on the field. Um, you know, he doesn't dress anything up and over talk anybody. He speaks in a way that his teammates understand him and he kind of speaks their language and connects those dots for guys. There are other linemen who would be lost if they didn't line up next to Marion, and that's, that's a true asset, you know, and then you think about how young he is and then how God-given talented he is, it's just a, a perfect recipe for success. Yeah, I mean, most of he's a kid who has so many intangibles and so much versatility. Um, a, he's never gonna be in any trouble. B, he's always gonna work hard, and his versatility is gonna allow him to fit somewhere. So there's no doubt that he's gonna be able to go up there and contribute um, when, where, that's the beauty of it, because he has so much versatility. If I, if I was putting my money on it, and I might be a gambling man, I'd put it all on Imarion. Nick Walters, Fox 16.